back seat and abyss and swerve ashore, then the bay brings us by from odious thickets and circulation back to Half Castle and Veron's. Fuck you, James Joyce, Sam Beckett, and all the rest of them. It's your zero, baby. A man who eats meat wants to get his teeth into something. A man who does not eat meat wants to get his teeth into something, too. If any of these thoughts interest you, even but for a moment, then you are lost. Da -da -da -da. I sat for days with my teacher, my guru, Faramar Sitar, and on the seventh day he spoke to me a riddle. He said, what is the sound of one hand clapping, my son? I did this. <laughs> he told me I was an asshole and he never spoke to me again. <laughs> I say I'm in love, you must believe I'm in love, L U V something, something. I was in the fourth grade when this little girl in my class got killed. I never been to school sock hop and I wanted to ask her to dance, but I was too nervous to. I showed up at school one Monday morning, Randy Duke was telling me all about it. Hey Scott, did you hear about Jenny Sugar? She got killed in a car crash yesterday. Tracked the trailer to her mom's car, and they're both dead. Of course, I didn't believe him at first because Randy Duke was always making up shit like this. He's always going on about how his dad lived in England, even though it's just something his mother told him because his dad left him for another woman, never came back. Then he giggled, moved on to the next kid, sitting at the cafeteria tables, told them. I stood and giggled too, not really knowing what was going on, wondering if it was true or not. But it was true, all right. We found out just a couple minutes later when our fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Morgan, broke down after telling us we we're supposed to be working on spelling words like F R I E N D S N. M O T H E R. Everybody just stopped and watched her cry. Put my pencil down, listened to her cry, and thought, yes, hallelujah, I'm back in the work today. And another girl named Tina started crying too. So Miss Morgan walked over and asked if she needed to go to the bathroom. Tina nodded her head, yeah. Miss Morgan touched Tina's shoulder, and asked Cole to go to the bathroom with her. Leaned over and told my friend Mike, what's up with this crap? She didn't even know that well. Inside my head, I was jealous because I wanted to be free too. Finally, Miss Morgan was able to compose herself and told us all, I know this is a horrible accident, but it's going to be a funeral tomorrow, and I hope we all can go. I have permission forms for your parents to sign if you wish to go. I'll also be calling you to your parents tonight. She said if it was too much for anyone, we could just stay behind. Mr. Kirkshanks will be showing a movie. Somebody raised their hand and asked, What movie? <laughs> this morning said she didn't know. She thought Superman 4. <laughs> I see anything, but I was thinking Superman 4 the funeral, Superman 4 the funeral, Superman 4 the funeral. I think Superman 4. Next day, school seemed like everybody else picked the funeral, dumb bastards. They got all the bus, all dressed up in the nice shirts and ties and church dresses and church shoes and church face and church shirts and church bands and church bells. Watching the windows, they got on the school bus and took off. There were only a couple of us who didn't go that day. There was me and Deborah, the special needs girl, and there was Kevin Mammy, the kid who always pooped his pants. We wanted to go to him, but since he always pooped his pants, the teacher just made up an excuse and couldn't go. And then all the it sat in the dark classroom. Mr. Crookshanks put Superman 4 in the VCR. We sat and watched, and there was a part of me saying, This is great. It's two days in a row. We haven't had to do any work. Kick your ass. And after only watching a half hour of Superman 4, I realized something important. Superman 4 was shit. <laughs> Wires were holding this reeve up in the air, and the microphone was showing in one shot. And all of a sudden, Deborah, the special needs girl, started crying. I was like, Deborah, she's sure gonna turn off the movie. So she quit crying. <laughs> Superman 4 wasn't getting any better. Make matters worse, started smelling something. It sniffed a couple times. I turned Kevin Van Meter and told him, Did You just poop your pants. <laughs> Kevin Van Meter kept looking at Superman 4 and said, This deep country speech and of my voice. No, I did. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I smell crappy things like you always do. It's no wonder they wouldn't let you go to the funeral. Well, Kevin Van Meter raised his hand and did what he always did. He said, I'm going to teach you on you. The teacher came over and Kevin told her to teach it. He picking on me. Miss Kirkshank smelled him too, and instead of yelling at me, she just turned off the VCR and took Kevin in the bathroom. <laughs> Shit, we didn't even get to watch the end of the movie. It was an hour later, the school bus pulled back up in front of the school and they were back. They were all dressed up in the shirts and ties and nice dresses. For some reason or other, they didn't look happy now. I even tried to tell my best friend Matt Chapman about how Superman 4 is horrible and how she'd be happy when to the funeral. And he finally told me he didn't care. He told me to quit talking. He just came back from the funeral, for God's sake. For the rest of the day, I sat at my desk thinking about the movie, and then I started thinking about Jenny. thought about how a couple of weeks earlier, my mom took a picture of her at the school dance, and she didn't smile. she just got in braces. She didn't smile because she was embarrassed. thought about how I wanted to ask her to dance, but I couldn't. For weeks I'd been playing my mother's old records, the Tennessee Waltz. <coughs> I 
practice dancing all alone by myself in the bedroom. But Jenny was gone. I kept asking the kids, isn't it strange that Jenny's gone? What was the funeral like? Are people crying? Act like they didn't even know what I was talking about. And then one day doing my spelling words, I came across a word that was spelled S-K-E-L-E-T-O-N, skeleton. So I stopped doing them. Looked around, all the other kids were spelling S-K-E-L-E-T-O-N, like there was nothing wrong with it. Went to the bathroom, passed two teachers in the hallway talking about Jenny's death. One said, I think they're holding up pretty well. It's just so horrible what happened. And the other teacher whispered like she didn't want anyone to hear. We can't even imagine it. I heard the little girl was decapitated. I knew this word, decapitated. <laughs> Kept thinking about it, thought about Jenny Sugar without her head, thought about the Tennessee walls and dancing by myself, thought about closed caskets, thought about Jenny Sugar's skeleton, thought about Jenny Sugar's blood, thought about Jenny Sugar without her head. Thought about it so much about Tom Schools over at summer couldn't even get in my mom's car. My mom and I were supposed to visit my grandma in Virginia, but I was dreading it. Hung out all summer, getting even more scared. I had to go visit my mom every day, worried about how I wasn't baptized yet. I wondered how I was going to tell her I didn't want to go to Virginia, I didn't want to go anywhere. Then on the day we were supposed to leave, I sat in the car and I finally told her I didn't want to go. And at first, mom was mad, we were supposed to be leaving. Why didn't I tell her this weeks ago? It dawned on her. I was afraid. I sat in the car and cried. Why did Jenny have to get killed that way and lose her head? My mother shrugged. Told me she didn't know. I asked, where's Jenny's head at now? Where was it? She shrugged. She told me she didn't know. I told her I didn't want to go because I didn't want something bad to happen. I didn't want to lose my head. My mother thought for a second and told me nothing bad would ever happen. She wouldn't let it happen to me. Nothing bad would ever happen. She promised. I was feeling better. And then she said it again as we pulled away. And here I am. I wanted to say the same to you. Pretend I am your mother. <laughs> Pretend I am saying, don't worry about it now. There's nothing bad ever going to happen to us. We'll all be fine. Everything will be okay. Please believe me. I'm a fucking liar. <laughs> and that night I dreamed about the Tennessee Waltz again. I was in the future, a room full of people, and I was asking them to dance. It's my whole time you presentation. It's all this. Shh. Would they? Wrong song. This song. Would they? Pretend you love me, sir. <laughs> Let me leave. <laughs> Pretend you love me. seen as other saw could not bring the feelings from the common spring. From the same source I have not taken my sorrow, but not away. My heart to joy to the tone. And all I have loved, I have loved alone. And from my childhood, from the dawn, that's this stormy life is strong. For the good, for the ill. The goddamn mysteries the same as still. So from the torrent, from the fountain, from the red cliff, from the mountain, from the sun that rounds its rolls, from its crescent light of gold. And all of heaven was a blue. There's been only a demon in my view. So my destination's been reached. Far this far. And home. Hopefully safe. I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing a few moments of your life with me. Nina, thanks for inviting me. I want, to, I want to thank you for allowing me to share a few moments with your audience. So this is my finale. This is my finale. 
Stop. This is my finale. Stop. This is my finale. Stop. This is my finale. And this is my finale song. We all mean our destinations. That one makes it so sad. This room, this room's a time machine. The walls, the walls the past. That door, that's the future. And the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces, and the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces, and the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces, and the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces, and the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces, and the beautiful young bodies, and the beautiful young faces. That's the present. Present. Enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you. Woo!